thing about sport clubs is meeting all these great people. For me, I rid, I've ridden horses all my life, and it was great to come to school and meet a group of people who have the same interests as I do. Sports club caters to all, all different interests, so it's a cool thing because obviously we like to fish, and the school gives the opportunity to do that. So. Yeah, you start off with a, a bunch of new girls you've never even met before or talked to, and then at the end of the season, they're like your best friend. Everyone's included, so there's no one that's, you know, not a part of the group. Anyone can sign up, so they're pretty awesome. You know, you get to meet a lot of new people that way. Uh, the best thing about sport clubs, particularly with the rugby club, from my personal experience, would be that uh, many people look around for fraternities and Greek life on campus for a source of brotherhood, and through the rugby club, we've created our own uh, source of brotherhood. I'll definitely say the best thing about sports clubs, though, is just the fact that you meet a lot more people. You get involved, you have a place on campus, you're not just a kid who sits in their dorms, has their friends who you live with, or just the people you see in classes, but you get to know people on personal levels, you interact with other sports clubs, um, it's just a great way to get involved with your campus and have a good time in your college life. I would recommend sports clubs to anybody looking to get involved on campus. There's sports clubs of every competition level. You can come do something that you did in high school or try something brand new. Uh, that's the wonderful thing about college. And if there isn't a sports club that you're interested in, then start one. It's a lot of fun. I would recommend sport clubs to most definitely incoming freshmen. It's a great way to meet people and you get connected instantaneously. Um, and you just go to practice, you have things to do, weekends to travel. It's really one of the best ways to meet people. Anybody, anybody who's got a passion, they can either join a club or start a club. So anybody who's got a passion. I would, I would recommend sports clubs to everyone because not to bash on Sonoma State, but it is a bit of a small school, and if you don't want to get bored here, you need to find your niche. Anyone who wants to, to be active, um, you know, especially if you want to meet new people, it works for that too. At the uh, Dad Bell race in Philadelphia, uh, my sophomore year, just um, competing with D2 and D3 level schools and just being a little club from California, and then uh, making it to the top six um, in the biggest regatta in the United States, collegiate regatta. Yeah, in 2010 we won the D2 National Championship in Louisville, Kentucky, and it was an amazing culmination of everything we worked hard for. Uh, our most memorable moment this last season was winning second place in the Las Vegas Open Tournament. Probably we did a trip to Lake Mead, which is in Las Vegas, and um, <laughs> the road trip was pretty memorable. Um, and then the fishing itself, because a lot of the spots we go are pretty, uh, pretty well known throughout the West, uh, Lake Mead. Obviously, you're doing like the Hoover Dam, so we actually got a fish, literally within like a stone's throw away of the Hoover Dam. So that was pretty cool. Um, get out there and just be active throughout the days. It gives you something to look forward to. Practice times are fun, but they're also good for you. Um, it gives you something to do on the weekends, not just sitting around doing nothing. It keeps you in shape. It does keep you in shape. Um, something positive that sports clubs have brought to my life is a sense of belonging and um, true friendship with people who share common interests with me. I can say for both of us that most of our friends, most of the people we hang out with on any given day are from the team. It's a wonderful group of guys. It's like we're a big family. Our whole team, everyone who gets together, um, we look out for one another, and it's nice to be able to walk around campus and have someone that you recognize and have that like think that little bond together. So it, we're we're like a big family, and it's really friendly. It's really comfortable. Um, well, with the whole involvement thing, it's nothing. Sports clubs are supposed to be fun as well as you get to enjoy your social college life, but also be competitive and play sports. Uh, we've played together for a number of years. Phil and I have been on the team together for the past four years, so you know, we're great friends out of this whole thing and if anything you'll gain just a big group of fourteen or fifteen guys you can always hang out with even outside of volleyball. Um, it's a great community building experience. You get to meet all kinds of new people, you get a social network, you get to have a great time doing it and you'll build friends for lifetimes. So if I wasn't involved in cheer at SSU, I probably still wouldn't be here. I definitely wouldn't have any friends. Um, these are the people that I hang out with. I still talk to all of my friends that I'm really close to ever since 
in the beginning I've been with Emily for three years in cheering and I talk to her and she's one of my really good friends and I always look to her for advice. We have literally created a family of 15 people. We have a sisterhood bond that we just tra travel to each game and each practice. Um, and that's what I think women's lacrosse and sports clubs in general bring to Sonoma State because um, we have our own kind of community and within this community we, um, we have a name for ourselves. You know, yeah, well, granted we're you know, women's lacrosse a club team, but we're also part of the sports club team. So when we walk into the rec center, and we see our awards and our plaques and our pictures. You know, that, this is our home and this is where we come from. I, would say I get better grades because you have to keep a good GPA. <laughs> time, time management is also appropriate. It fills my schedule. Leadership skills I require would definitely be, well, learning how to be a good leader, I'd say you have to be a good listener and you have to have effective communication. I think if you have the ability to listen to people, you can better understand them and their needs. And that is one thing I've learned from being on the tri team. Make it what you want to make it. Um, hopefully you love the sport. I did learn a lot of time management. It definitely helps out, um, especially being the president, trying to keep track of 30, 40 dudes. I, I don't know what I would have done at Sonoma without these girls, to be honest. Without sport clubs, I just don't, don't know. Think about it. I don't think just about don't want to think about it. <laughs>